What's up, everybody? Happy Labor Day. It is your boy, Bad Dog, here with another New York Giants video. I guess you can call it a Giants video. You can call it whatever you like. Hit the thumbs up button. Helps out the video huge. Hit the subscribe button and share it with a Giants friend or a Cowboys hater. <laughs> There's a lot of them out there. I'm one of them. I can't stand the Dallas Cowboys. But hit that like, hit the subscribe, ring that bell. Tons of Giants content coming up. Season's here. We play Sunday night against the hated Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, I hate the Dallas Cowboys, man. I really do. There's a lot of reasons that I hate the Dallas Cowboys. I hate them with a freaking passion, right? Everybody that knows me knows I can't stand the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Eagles are usually the team that takes the brunt of my trash talk or whatever you want to call it. Well, Dallas is right there. Just never seems to get the they never seem to get equal opportunity on my channel. Well, that's because they've been completely irrelevant. The Eagles have not. That's really the reason. Why do I hate the Dallas Cowboys? Let me name the ways. America's team. That one always cracks me up. America's team. Why is Dallas America's team? I never really understood this because John Vicenda said this in an NFL films, uh, you know, taping back in 1978 after they lost the Super Bowl to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And when you think about it, the Dallas Cowboys have actually probably lost more big games than they've won. I mean, I can just think of from 1966 to 1981. Let's just go over this, okay? 1966 and 67, back-to-back -back years, lost to the Packers in the NFC Championship. Lost in 1970, Super Bowl V to the Baltimore Colts. Lost twice in 75 and 78 to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They never could beat Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh owned their ass. 1981, the catch. They lost to San Francisco. 1982, they lost to Washington. Like, how many times does this team lose big game after big game after big game? And still, they're America's team. And I love the people that tout this America's team thing because the people that say this aren't even old enough to remember the last time the Dallas Cowboys won a damn Super Bowl. They've been irrelevant for 30 freaking years. 1995, I wasn't even 20. I'm almost 50 now. I can't stand that. America's team, the hype train, Dallas Cowboys. Why? What have they done in the last three years? Nothing. You know why? Because they can't buy championships. Ever since the salary cap came into fruition, there are no championships in Dallas. And what do the Cowboys fans brag about now, this day and age? Dak Prescott's record against the NFC East. How the mighty have fallen. Cowboys and Yankees fans are very similar. I'm a Yankee fan. I'm a diehard Yankee fan. No question about it. The history is rich. But Yankee fans don't go around bragging about division championships, making the playoffs, getting to the ALCS. We want World Series titles here. Yankee fans have not fallen off. They've not fallen off expectations. They don't settle. Cowboy fans now settle. We're division champs. Dak Prescott's 27-6 and six against East, or whatever the hell he is. It makes me laugh because all these people that talk about America's team and hype up the Cowboys don't even remember the last time they won a damn Super Bowl. It's sad. And that is what they hang their hat on these days. Dak Prescott's record against the NFC East. And let's face it, the only reason the Cowboys are who they are are because of the New York Giants. The Cowboys got on the map. The Cowboys became a really good team in the 70s. Still lost more big games than they won, but they became a really good team in the 70s. Why? And in the 60s, actually, quite frankly. Why? Because of Tom Landry. He was a giant. We all know that the Giants are the reason the Cowboys even exist. So let's be fair about that. Number two is the fan base. The fan base of the Dallas Cowboy fans make me laugh. One of the biggest fair weather fan bases on the planet. And there is no question about this. Now, I can't speak to other parts of the country. Because I don't live in other parts of the country. I live in New York. And I can tell you this right now, when the Cowboys are down and out, I don't see one damn Cowboys jacket, hat, jersey, nothing, nothing around. You would never know a Cowboys fan existed in New York when they suck. However, when they're good, when they're in the playoffs and they win a division championship, because Lord knows they ain't won any other championships. I mean, Dak Prescott's won one more postseason game in his career than Daniel Jones has. But when they are good, everybody's a Cowboys fan there. How about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. The biggest overhyped team in the history of football, the Dallas Cowboys. Five championships, baby. Five championships. Who gives a shit? Win one in this millennium. Then talk your crap. 
The Giants were a horrible organization for the last five years, but hell, we got two championships in the last 15 years here. You don't have that. You don't have two championships in the last, what, 30 years? Maybe 30 years, I guess, 93, right? So the Cowboys have had two blow-ups. They were good in the 70s. They were good in the 90s from like 91 to 96. And how many playoff games have they won since then? I can tell you this. Eli Manning won more playoff games in his career than Dallas has in the last 30 years. But the fan base will act like they've won 10, 12, 15, 30 championships. They keep saying catch up. Well, win a damn championship. You see, the salary cap makes things a little bit more difficult. So that's why you ain't won in 28 years. You ain't winning again this year either. Which brings me to my next point, Jerry Jones. I hate Jerry Jones and I love Jerry Jones at the same time. Jerry Jones is an arrogant bastard. Jerry Jones will do anything for headlines. Jerry Jones will make the, the dumbest moves, bring in the most controversial players just to get his Cowboys a little attention. Lord knows because they don't get attention from winning anything anymore. And again, they can brag about, oh, I know there'll be people on this video, oh, they're going to Giants, stack this, stack that. That's what they brag about. They don't brag about championships anymore. They brag about <laughs> they brag about regular season records. They brag about beating Philadelphia in the regular season. They brag about beating Washington. They brag about beating the Giants. They brag about his record against the NFC East. That's what they that that's what they hang their hat on these days. How the mighty have fallen there in Dallas or wherever the hell these people are. Oh, I'm living, I live in South Georgia. Yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan. I live in Western Pennsylvania. Oh, I've always been a Cowboys fan. I live in Northern Washington State. Yeah, I've always been a Cowboy fan. Always, yeah, always been a Cowboy fan. Yeah, exactly. I live in Cincinnati. Oh, I'm not a Bengal fan. No, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Yeah, Cowboys, Yankees. That's what I roll with. Mm, sure, right. <laughs> the fan base makes me laugh. It really does. So that's another thing. That stupid star. I hate the star. Oh, the Dallas Cowboys. That's so ugly. You guys got some of the ugliest uniforms. And I don't even care about uniforms. I ain't one of these guys like, oh, those uniforms are this. Those uniforms are that. Those jerseys are fire. Whatever the hell the kids say nowadays. I'm old. I don't know what the hell the slang is. Back in my day, we'd say, oh, that's dope. So that tells you. How Listen, I'm old. And that was the slang the last time the Cowboys won a championship. Yo, that's dope. Yo, that's fly. That's the, that was the slang. There was no YouTube. There was no Facebook. There was no Twitter, Instagram, whatever the hell else. There was no DVD players, right? None of that stuff existed. Windows was prehistoric. Windows 95. You had flip phones. I don't even know if you had flip phones. I don't even know if had flip phones. I don't even know if cell phones around. You still had phones and cords on them. Gas was what? Gas was probably, I don't even know. I didn't do the research on that. Gas was probably under $2 a gallon. <laughs> Seinfeld was one of the number one shows. Seinfeld and Friends were big time the last time the Cowboys won anything. That star is gross. Your freaking uniforms are gross. Your stadium ain't even a stadium. It's a damn circus. And the stadium before that was hideous. Oh, the hole in the roof is so God can watch the Cowboys. The hole in the roof is so that God can take a dump on the Cowboys. I freaking hate the Dallas Cowboys. I really do. I hate that stupid star. I hate their stupid quarterback. I hate the fact that the fan base, oh, Michael Parsons is Lawrence Taylor. It shows you they don't know anything about the history of football. Most Cowboy fans don't. I can probably tell you more about the history of the Cowboys than Cowboys fans Quote, unquote, I can't say I hate it. I didn't hate all the Cowboys. I hated Emmett Smith. I hated Michael Irvin. I hated Troy Aikman. Yeah, I hated all those guys without question. They went out there. They bought Charles Haley. They bought Deion Sanders. They bought, bought, bought. They bought their championships in 92, 93, and 95. And what happened once that salary cap came into play? Well, we see it every year. They fall short, but they brag about, we won the division. <laughs> you guys suck. Win something legitimate. Hoist a trophy. Christ, have you even been in an NFC championship game since the last time you won a Super Bowl? My God. Like I said, I hate the Dallas Cowboys. 
I really can't stand them. I'm sick and tired of losing to their ass. I'm sick and tired of having to listen to this crap. New York Giants need to go out and just put a boot to their ass and knock them around MetLife Stadium. And if they do, if this happens, there will be all kinds of excuses as to why it happened. Dak Prescott has had some of the best talent possible around him his entire career, and he's won two playoff games. And yet they'll sit there and talk about how he's got. My guy, Law Nation, I love him to death. But to sit there and say Dak has had no talent around him, that's falling on deaf ears over here in New York Giants camp where Daniel Jones literally, Richie James, was his number one receiver for three quarters of the year. He's had Amari Cooper. He's had CeeDee Lamb. He's had Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott. He's had Jason Witten, for Christ's sakes. He's had the best offensive line of football until recently. Maybe that's the Eagles now. But somehow, it's always an excuse. It's always a reason why they don't win. Always a reason. There's always an excuse as to why they're not winning stuff. But when they do beat a team in the NFCs, they will brag about that. As if the quarterback's record matters the most. As if it's only the quarterback. There's no two sides of the football. It's just the quarterback. And then when he loses, they blame the rest of the team. They blame the coaching staff. They don't know what the hell they're doing. Ugly ass uniform, America's team, the fair weather fan base, they're unknowledgeable. They don't know anything. What I know is that the New York Giants, Sunday night, and they get their stuff together and they're going to beat Dallas's ass. That's right. I said it. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. Tell me why you hate the Dallas Cowboys because I'm going to tell you this right now. It ain't just Giants fans that hate the Dallas Cowboys. One thing Eagles and Giants fans can agree on, and probably 31 other teams in the NFL as well, we hate Dallas. Dallas sucks. It's bad dog, and I'm out. Peace!